morning, boys and girls. I'm going to start with reading the key to maps. Today you are going to be drawing a map of your classroom. And I'm going to have a video that I'm going to have put on um, Seesaw for both of our classrooms, Mr. Antel's and, and mine. And I'm going to show you your classrooms. And then you're going to go ahead and draw your own map of your classroom. And I'm going to show you how I would start doing that. But first, I want to read you the key to maps. All right, the key to maps. Have you ever used a map? This is a map of a zoo. There are symbols on the map. The symbols are drawings that stand for real things. The map key tells you what the symbols stand for. Look at map key. You have bears, monkeys, and tigers. This is a map of, you, of a museum. What can you do with the museum? Do you see all the different things? So you can make a guess by the pictures, can't you? But look what they have here. A map key, birds, dinosaurs, gems, insects, and mummies. It tells you exactly what's there. The map key tells you that the, see the dinosaur stands for dinosaur. Are the dinosaurs closer to the gems or the mummies? Well, Here's the dinosaurs. Do you see the mummies and the gems? Closer to the gems, isn't it? What else can you do with the museum? So you can see all the things that are in the map key. All right, turn the page, please. Thank you. I'm talking to myself. This is a map of a state park. What can you do with the state park? Lift the flap. Look at the map key. Oh, look at the different things. There's a boathouse, campground, hiking trail, ranger station, waterfall. The map key tells you stands for, the tent stands for the campground. Is the campground closer to the hiking trail or the waterfall? Oh, yeah, if you guessed waterfall, you're right. What else can you do with the state park? There's lots of things. You can canoe, you can go on a hiking trail. This is a map of a water park. What can you do with the water park? Lift the flap and look at the map key. Oh, this reminds me of Cascade Bay. Giant slide, lazy river, swimming pool, wading pool, wave pool. The map key tells you that that slide looking thing stands for a giant slide. <laughs> is the giant slide closer to the wave pool or the lazy river? What else can you do at the water park? Well, there's lots of things you can do. We know that from going to our own water parks. And the map shows you too. This is a map of an aquarium. What can you do with the aquarium? What would a map key for this map look like? Well, you'd have all those items that they're labeled, that they have pictures of, and then you would label them, wouldn't you? Let's see. Yep, map key, coral, dolphins, seals, sharks, tropical fish. Now, if you want to add a map key to the map of your classroom, you're more than welcome to. Um, otherwise, you don't have to if you don't want to. Girls, I already used a pencil to sketch this, but you can't really see it, so I'm going to do it with the marker. Okay, so you'll take a pencil and sketch it. So I started here with my door. That's where my opening is. And then I came down. And I had my two sinks here and my counter. Then I came back here where I have my coat rack area. And then we have door 15 right there. And then remember, there's a little ledge in the coat rack area where I asked you sometimes to put some of your items. And then if you want, you can make your hooks. You don't have to make all of the hooks, but just so we know that it's the coat rack area. And you could make a key symbol for that, too, with the hooks. Here's my easel, right? I have that round table right as you enter the room. And then along this wall, I have my calendar. Remember, this is a wall with a calendar. And then the smart board is right here. And I have another little bit of a wall. And then we have those windows. The windows have that one little area there. Um, we have the chair, I mean the table, and then we have two little chairs, right? And we have another chair here, 
we have that big area where we put all that fun stuff, like the cash register. I'll put the tennis cash register. And then I have another chair sitting right here. Um, oh, and then we have the sink. We have a cover here and the sink. Um, and then you come over here, and I'm going to make our tables. Now, our tables are trapezoids. Trapezoids are hard for you to make, so I don't even want you to try because it's two trapezoids put together. We'll just make squares. We have four tables. Here's Mrs. Gustafson's rocking chair. Here's my other easel right here. Um, here's the toy cabinet. And then we have two more toy cabinets where we put all our toys. If you want, you could add the sparkle jar with, and you could put colory sparkles in it. And then Mrs. Gustafson, right next to the door here, remember the flag hangs. If you could draw a picture of the flag hanging from the um, wall. And then we have our that, co that cupboard right there that I keep stuff on. And then we have our tow trays that are built into the wall. And then we have my desk. And then there's a door over here. Remember that door? Over here, let's put my chair right here. And then we have the horseshoe table with another chair. And then I have that big tall cabinet. And then I have another cabinet. Then I have my Dr. Seuss books. Then I have the book, the couch. And then we have the bookshelf. Sometimes we have that chair. So that's the, I did a sketch, but there's the sketch too. And if you want, over here on your paper, you could do a symbol key or a key with symbols on it, shall I say. A key with symbols on it, and maybe you'll put the hooks there and put coat hooks. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe this, you'll put squares like this and you'll put tables. You could even color the tables. Remember, this table is red. That is, let's see, this is red. Oops. And then we have yellow. And we have green. No, wait a second. Yellow's over here, Mrs. G. Yellow, green, and this is blue. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's even complicated for me, and I'm in this room. Do your best. Mrs. Gustafson tried her best. And it's just so that you can learn how to make a map of your own. All right? Have a great day.